Okay, so uh, we got a new Nightwave intermission going on right now, right? <clears throat> Until Nightwave Season 4 is going to start sometime in the future. And with that, we have a couple of new well. mission types uh, that weren't uh, in Nightwave before. So I figured, hey, time to start making some new guide videos again. Uh, for the first one up is this one, Vault Trader. This is new, which is to complete an isolation Vault Bounty mission on Deimos. So I figured I'd give people a quick little uh, overview on how to do this mission type. Uh, just what you uh, will need uh, going into it. There's only one real challenge in the mission, and that is you have to fight the uh, a vault guardian called uh, a necromech. And for that, I recommend that you either run uh, with Banshee, or even better, if you have access to uh, the Hellman system, then you can run another Warframe that has subsumed a Banshee's ability, Silence. Now, uh, like, but here's the thing though, if you if you have the Helmet system, then you've probably already run Isolation Vaults. So, uh, you should probably run with Banshee, because Silence is, is great uh, as an ability to have for this mission type. Also, uh, equip some weapons that, that pack some radiation damage. Very good for dealing with Necromix. So, first up, uh, in order to do this, you have to go to Deimos, and you have to have done the uh, uh, Heart of Deimos quest uh, that you know that activates uh, when you go there. So, for the sake of conversation, let's assume that you've already done that, and we can move on to the next step, which is actually playing the Isolation Vault mission. Here we go. So, for this mission, we have to go up and talk to Mother over here, which is the uh, the you know the. The, the mission giver for, for bounties here on Deimos. And, um... Another bounty, is it? Indeed it is. And we pick it from her list. You can also find, like, Mother out in the field in, like, four different locations. Uh, and you can talk to her there as well. Yes, uh, for, like, accessing bounties. different tiers of, uh, of isolation vaults. So as you can see here, we have isolation vault tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. Um, where you have to unlock the first tier to do the second tier. You have to unlock the second tier to do the third tier. And they have um, uh, different rewards. Different rewards for doing it. But you don't have to do all three tiers. It's enough to just do uh, one. So, uh, all we have to do is just pick it to activate it. And then there are a couple of steps that we have to go through uh, to complete this quest. So as we access the Cambion Drift here, yeah, uh, Lloyd is going to tell us uh, what to do in the first stage. Woo. So first, first stage, we have to uh, just find some bait that we're going to plop into a bait station. And uh, this here sort of residue is going to work just fine. Now, if you run this in a full squad, you're going to collect more. Um, but if you're going solo, you only need six of these babies. Which shouldn't take too long to harvest. More if you have to run on foot, obviously. That should suffice. Place the components into the vessel. Now, keep in mind here, I know the, the meta for weapons and just like how you're supposed to mod your weapons is heat plus viral. If you haven't done the demo stuff yet, pretty much everything on demos is resistant to viral damage. So, if you're wondering why, why your weapons aren't doing any damage and why you aren't killing anything, hey, guess what? D stop using viral weapons. Um, swap that out. Get, get heat and corrosive and you'll have a much easier time. Now, this is where Octavia here comes uh, super in handy uh, if you want an alternative to Banshee. Uh, because there are a couple of stages um, in this isolation vault that are going to work a lot like mobile defense. You just go to a point and then you defend that point. And then you go to a point and then you defend that point. And so on and so forth. And Octavia is very good at doing that. Protect the vessel while it is stewing. This bench is bound to draw infested. 
Because all you have to do is just activate all of our abilities, go invisible, and then it basically works by itself. Enemies are just gonna show up and, and kill themselves. <laughs> and you're like, wait, that doesn't sound fair. Can, can Octavia really do that? Yes, yes she can. She can. So I don't really have to shoot any enemies, I just have to wait um, for this stage to be over. And obviously make sure that my abilities are always active. And then the enemies are just gonna kill themselves. Very nice for me. And you just, you know, spam control to keep yourself invisible. That is how you Octavia. So, we're through the first stage, we gotta pick up the finished uh, bait trap or whatever. And then you just gotta go down into the tunnel. So I'm holding it just in my hand like a grenade or something, and all you have to do is click your middle mouse button at the door. Yay! It's Let's gross. It Yuck. And now we're gonna reach a, uh, another point that's gonna be like, you know, mobile defense. Just, hey, protect this point. In, these tunnels are deadly even for in this case, it's not so much like defense, uh, as in more like just you have to kill enemies. Use organic samples to help stabilize yourself against the toxicity levels. The invested carry their own antidote of sorts. So yeah, it's mobile defense in the uh, sense that you like just you have to stay in this area. Oopsie, my abilities. You have to stay in this area just uh, for a while, hold this position, and you have to kill enemies. Uh, in order to keep the toxicity levels down. You can see the bar on the left hand side of the screen. Just play like normal. Uh, and you should be fine. It, it's not a big hassle. Yeah. You shouldn't have to worry about like not being able to uh, uh, kill enemies in time. Just, you know, play normal. Play normal. And you'll do just fine. Toxicity is falling away to nothing with the infested gone. We can now access the isolation vaults. So now I'm going to talk about the actual the challenge the uh, of this mission, the ruins lie just ahead. which is fighting against uh, the Necromech. Uh, the reason why it can be a challenge is because the Necromech uh, can, in fact, um, make himself invincible. He has an ability that works the same way as Rhino's Iron Skin, uh, except when you fight them here in the vault, uh, that also um, does, like, damage reflection. So, it's gonna activate its Storm Shroud, and while its Storm Shroud is active, if you try to attack it, um, you're gonna die. Now you just need to beat a necromech so you can explore the ruins in peace. Did I mention that part already? Yep. So now we just gotta find the necromech who's gonna be somewhere uh, in these tunnels. Ah, here he is. The necromech guardian is here. Defend yourself, Tenno. So I'm gonna turn myself invisible because otherwise, <laughs> yeah, this thing is gonna kill you pretty fast. Let's do that again. Now, as you can see, he has this glowy spinny thing around his head. That means the storm shroud is active, and if I try to hurt him, uh, that damage is just gonna get reflected back to me, which isn't great. What you can do here is you can go into your operator form and hit it with void damage, and that's not gonna reflect the damage. So that is a way of safely removing the, um, uh, the storm shroud. Now, other than that, these guys are tough, but what you can do, well as you can see here, is you can pick off its arms. 
which renders it less combat effective. I'm using a frame that can go invisible here to show you this. Now, um, hey, I shot off that arm. There we go. Now, once it doesn't have any arms left, an Octavia can actually toss out its mallet. And it's gonna shoot at it and, and kill itself. Um, no, they've, they've fixed this norm uh, before. You could pretty much, like, um, insta-kill a Necromech in, in a second or two uh, by doing this. But now they've changed it so that um, th uh, the damage reflection on the mallet only works uh, while the Necromech doesn't have any arms. Which is clunky. A most satisfactory outcome. So you can destroy the Necromech like that and you can uh, just be done with the mission here. You, you can just leave the isolation vault and you'd be done with the mission. And you see these green things here are like teleporters that can take you out of the vault. Uh, but, but, if you actually want to collect uh, the real bounty rewards, uh, then you want to stick around for a bit longer. And you want to try to find the, um, uh, the secret, uh, sort of like, just, you know, vault cache that's at the end of this somewhere. Now I'm actually running out of the isolation vault. That's wrong. That means I'm running in the wrong, entirely wrong direction. Whoa! So, we gotta deep dive into these ruins, and we just gotta find it. Somewhere there's gonna be... Um, a vault where we can get some goodies. And here we go. This is what the vault door looks like. So once you're here, see this reactive crystal? I'm going to go into operator form and activate it. I'll show you the locks on the vault. And now we are again in a state of uh, mobile defense. Which is, you know, why Octavia is great. Can keep everyone distracted. Because now we have to protect Lloyd. Lloyd and Otak. They're going to be zooming around here on this map. And uh, they're going to activate some sort of like reactive crystals. Like here. Here's one. And there's four of them. So uh, Lloyd and Otak are just going to be flying around. And uh, activating reactive crystals. And it's up to you to protect them while they do so. Some Warframes are going to be better suited for this than others. Uh, any sort of just Warframe with great crowd control abilities is going to do the trick. Octavia is great because she has the mallet. The enemies are just going to attack the mallet and kill themselves. So, you know, that works out. So we're just going to follow Lloyd and Otak around while, um, while they just hack into all of these crystals, right? It's going to take a while. Now that I have activated all of the generators, the vault door is now active and awaiting the correct code. And there we go. Now we just gotta escort Lloyd back the final stretch of the way. Hopefully without either of us dying. If uh, Lloyd and Otak... Come on. If Lloyd and Otak were to die in this phase... It's not going to lead to a mission failure, because you've already actually completed the bounty. It just means you won't get uh, all of these bonus rewards here. Now, for this final stage, it's a puzzle, a memory puzzle. Uh, let's see. One, three, four, two. So you just got to remember which order you're supposed to do these in. So you do one, three, with your operator amp, obviously. Good thing you got two more tries. Ah, sorry. It was one, three, four, two. Yeah. One, three, four, and two. Some of the knowledge that was brought back from the void never left these vaults. I hope you can find a use for it. And down here, you get, you know. A whole lot of goodies. Few can confront the guardians of the isolation vaults. 
A fuller mastery of the void and all its implications would be helpful, of course. But this must suffice for now. Nita. And once you've uh, unlocked this, you can either go on to do the tier 2 vault, or you can go back down here and do a, uh, a tier 1 uh, Deimos Arcana vault, which is a set of different um, tasks that you have to do down here in this vault. So it's up to you. Or if you're... If you, if you do want to go down uh, to do the, the second half of the tier of one vault, all you gotta do is talk to the corresponding mother out here in the field, and you can activate that mission here now, now that you've cleared uh, the first half. Or, or, you can go to a different mother in a different location, like the one over here, for example, and she instead has uh, the tier 2 isolation vault, or tier 3 isolation vault. So you can unlock everything. But, if you're good and done, and you just wanted the, some, some Nightwave points, and you're gonna save all the demo stuff for another day, you can now safely return to Necrolisk, cash in your nice bounty, and call it a day. That's it. That's, it. That's how you do isolation vaults, people. <laughs>